Anything that would disrupt Bitcoin? Are you concerned at all? I mean, U.S. politics are interesting. I was meeting with a minister out of uh, out of Saudi Arabia, and who was telling me in um, I don't say I don't think in confidence, but he was saying that his understanding was the U.S. really wanted to um, block the continued growth and proliferation of Bitcoin, and I can't imagine that that's possible anymore. Do you? Yeah, it's uh, we don't think it's possible and it's it's so interesting how surreptitiously uh Bitcoin really is uh, got into the hands of 50 to 60 million Americans and uh has become an election year issue. In fact, for Amazing. many voters, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, for many voters it is the election issue and that is why for um, the financial innovation technology act of the 21st century, so FIT21, uh, was able to attract 76 Democrats. I think, I think when um, uh, uh, when uh, the the Republicans basically turned this into uh, an election year issue, whether accept, accepting campaign uh, donations in crypto or, or saying that they would um, protect the right for self-custody. That's a big one. That's a very big one for, for Bitcoin. And we're, we're very much uh, uh, aligned, even though we have an uh, ETF and that could be a centralization vector, we think uh, both, both are true. Self-custody for you know, the early adopters and those who learn more about the ecosystem, but then just getting people into understanding what this is, how powerful this movement is, that is the role of a spot Bitcoin ETF, because once you own a spot Bitcoin ETF, you want to learn even more about it. You'll want to understand the risk profile, the return profile. It's the easy button for those of you who want to get into, into Bitcoin. Yes. Your predictions or your team's predictions for 2025, what do you, where do you see Bitcoin going? Yeah, we tend not to do one year, but if we're in the middle of uh, the bull market, I think the next spur is going mm -hmm. to be uh, the, uh, the, the, the platforms uh, putting the spot Bitcoin ETF on it. So, yeah. uh, and I do think that will happen this year. We were told by some of our, <clears throat> our um, prospective clients uh, the platforms themselves, that they would need six to nine months to evaluate it. So here mm -hmm. we are entering the six month. Uh, so I would expect in the fall, one or more will put uh, its uh, put the A spot uh, Bitcoin ETF or many of them on, on their platforms. And uh, I think that will be the next wish then. Yes. I remember in the last, I think it was the last halving, many people, you know, we went through the halving and uh, everybody waited for a pop and it didn't happen. Well, first of all, it didn't happen because there's a lot of anticipatory buying into it. But uh, I've, I've watched it kind of, you know, uh, gestate, shall we say, and, uh, and then all of a sudden. So those two could coincide in the fourth quarter of this year. Yeah. It could be... Pretty exciting.